in this video, I'm be showing you guys how to um, copy your PlayStation 1 games um, from your disc and make it so you can play it on your PSP. Um, you want to download these two files from your description, um, and then you want to install this. Install a clone CD. Just keep clicking next, and then it'll start installation. I'm going to pause this until it's done. It's beginning the installation. Shouldn't take too long. Alright, so now it's done. Just click close. Restart. I'm going to click no. Alright, now. What you want to do is, you want to extract this right here. Open it up. Alright, see how there's all these files? Just right click and click extract here. I'm just going to create a folder. Called PSX Converter. I'm just going to throw all of those into this folder. Alright, so now you want to um, run, you want to put your PlayStation 1 game into your CD drive. I'm going to be using uh, the game Jesse James, er, Gunfighter, The Legend of Jesse James. Alright, putting that in. Alright, so now you want to click on Clone CD, the new desktop icon. It'll start it. So just click up, ask me again, click agree. Okay, it's not free. Click on order. Okay, don't click on order. So it starts, it loads up this. This is your uh, PlayStation 1 game. You can just exit out of that, you don't need it. We'll just click try out. Alright, now, you want to click on this right here, read to image file. Click on it. Alright, so now you want to click on game CD. Click next. Alright, this is where it's going to save it. Um, or, now this is where it's reading the image file from. So you want to click on my computer right here, and click on right there. Open. Alright, so this is, is where it's going to save to. I'm going to save it to my desktop. Click OK. Alright, so now it's going to begin this. This does take a little while, so I'm going to I'm just going to pause this until it's done. Alright, so it's done. Alright, so now it's complete. You should have these files wherever you saved it. Reading finished. Um, this will after the uh, after the uh, read is complete, it will open your CD tray. I don't know why, but it just does. So I'm just gonna take out my game and close my CD tray. Right, so I can exit out of that. So you've got these three things right here. See this image.img. You want to keep that. The other two files you can just delete. Alright, so you've got this. Open up your PSX converter file folder. Right here, popstationgui.exe. You want to run that. Alright, see this right here, PSX file. Click browse. And go to where you saved it. Mine's on my desktop, right there. Click on that. See, it already has, it already knows what the game title is. That Gunfighter Legend Jesse James. Alright, now make sure you keep this on 9 because it just it runs a little better. If you want, you can preview the eboot. This is what it looks like when your game will start. 
uh, you can click customize right here. You can um, you can open you can uh, you can take a picture any picture. This has to be a PNG. Most of these are PMGs except for this one. This and this one. Um, and you can save any picture as your uh, the game boot for this. So um, note that when you have a PSX game. You can't use your own game boot um, for some reason. Um, it makes you use the uh, PlayStation One. It makes you use this. It does that right there. This right here. It does that when uh, the game starts. So I'm just gonna click. I'm just gonna re-click that. All right. So now click on go. All right. So it's gonna start this. Um, it does take a little while. So I'm going to pause this until it's done. Alright, and once it's done, you should get something looking like this. Do you want to you want to transfer the game to your PSP now? Um, you can also disable this feature. Blah, blah, blah. I'm going to click yes. Alright, see, it has no drive for my PSP. Because my PSP is not um, hooked up to the USB connection. Alright, so I'm going to hook my PSP up with using USB cable. You can also use an SD card reader. So, it's gonna load that. See how it's PSP 2 gigabyte memory stick. So I've got all this stuff. Yeah. All right, so just click refresh, and you should have your um, drive right there. Make sure it's the same one. Just click OK. Note that you will have to have like my game. It's 106 megabytes. I have like 150 megabytes free, so you have to have at least that many megabytes. Alright, so I'm going to pause this. Alright. Well, once that's done, you can exit out of all this. But, uh, now on your PSP, exit out of USB connection, go over to your game, the game on your